what's your emergency? Yes. Hi. This might sound a bit strange, but I heard something outside my house. What did you hear? It sounded like a like a baby crying. There it is again. I was wondering if I should go out and check. Do you know whose child it might be, ma'am? No. It just seems odd. Odd? How? Well, I... I live in the middle of nowhere. My closest neighbor is a mile away. I'm just going to step outside and check. Ma'am, maybe you should wait until we can get an officer out there. You hear that, right? Yes. I do hear it, but... But what if it's in trouble? I'm just going to take a quick look. I don't know if that's the best idea. It's louder out here. But I don't see anything. renovation going just getting started really grandma's style was collected hey when you inherit a house and a <sighs> treasure trove of tchotchkes bankers can't be choosers it's got good bones mm. at least yeah <sighs> what supposed to have a date tonight. Will I ever be a grandma? <laughs> Jumping the gun a little bit, aren't we, Mom? Speaking of babies. Well, I'm going to let you go. You gotta get back out there before your father eats all the candy. You two have fun. Night, Mom. Night, sweetie.
Hello, this is Charlie. It's okay. Just take your time. You want to start by telling me your name? Lily. Lily. That's a pretty name. My favorite flower, too. Would you say that if my name was Rose or Daisy? Humor. That's a good sign. Things can't be all that bad, right? I, I took a test. A test. A pregnancy test. Uh, Just now, before I called, I'm scared. I'm only 16. I couldn't stand to wait on the results alone. I'm right here, and remember, whatever it says, you have options. My mom would kill me. She's religious. If she knew, I slept with Josh. Lily, I need to take a big, deep breath for me, okay? How much time is left? Did you set a timer? Like three minutes. Okay. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. But I'm late. There's no reason to panic yet. God, I just got my first period last year, and I'm already late. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. He said he loved me, so I, I mean, I wanted to, I did, in the heat of the moment, but now, this test is lasting longer than he did, it wasn't even good. <laughs> You're funny, keep that up. Now my timer says two and a half minutes, I think I want to pee. Don't, just, just wait, so, um, where are you right now? Home. Alone? My mom just went out. I passed a drugstore on the way home from school. I didn't realize the tests were so expensive. I could only afford the cheapest one. What did you say your name was? Charlie. Charlie. I like your name too. Thanks. I always thought it was cute when girls had guy names. You say that like you had a say in it. Oh, oh, I get it. Get what? It's a fake name, right? No, it's actually not well. It's a nickname, short for Charlotte. They advise us to use a pseudonym, but I don't know. For me, it just felt ungenuine. You sound nice. Thanks for waiting with me. A lot of people call in so they don't feel alone. Well, it's the same for me. I talk to people, work this job, so I don't feel alone. Did something happen to you? Most people who do what you do, I mean, I'd assume they've been through something themselves. We're not really supposed to do that. Talk about ourselves. I'm sharing. Yes, but you called me. At least I told you my name. Oh God, it's ready. I'm gonna look. It's positive. <laughs> Lily, you don't have to make any decisions right now, but you can talk to someone, okay? No. Lily, it's free and I can connect you through right now. It's a sin. That's what my mom would say anyway. I had premarital sex. That's fine. I'm a baby That's okay, that's now. not the decision. Everyone chooses. <laughs> Lily? Talk to me, what are you thinking? My mom has pills. Lily. Sleeping pills. Really, no, that's not the answer. What other choice do I have? Many. You said, um, you said the, the test was cheap, right? Yes. Okay, so you don't need to panic. Maybe you can go take another one. I told you I don't have the money. I can send you the money. Do you have any mobile payment apps? You do that? Isn't that, like, against the rules? Client-patient confidentiality? I'm not a doctor. I'm just a volunteer. Just... Lily, please, this is this is not the answer. I don't have a choice. You, you said you wouldn't get an abortion, right? Well, think about it. If you hurt yourself, you'll be hurting the baby, too. I can't think right now. I... What do you care anyway? You don't know me. I do care. You're a complete stranger. You won't even tell me anything about yourself. Oh, God. What? She's home. My mom. Lily, listen to me. Just don't do anything rash. She's you can call me back anytime, okay? Just ask for Charlie at the switchboard, okay? Just... I have to go. Oh my god.
God. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. I just started a shift. Do you have a caller waiting on the line right now? No. Then I'll take what I can get. How have you been feeling? I'm um, okay. Staying busy? Productive? Gardening. Cooking a little bit. Renovations? Eh, slowly but surely. Still debating if I want to stay here or not. Volunteering has been good though. Helping people is helping me. Some of them just called a vent or <laughs> dear themselves talk, but with most, I really feel like I'm making a difference. That's great. Remember, direction is more important than speed. Have you been avoiding the news like we discussed? That's a no. I can't help it. He's locked up. You won. The other women, they won. Obsessing is not helpful. There's nothing to focus on now but your healing. Yeah. You hesitated. You still think he's out there? I heard his voice. The guy they arrested on TV. Maybe he's a bad guy. Maybe he's done some of the things they've accused him of, but I know, at least in my case, it isn't him. I'll never forget his voice. Baby girl. I'll never forget him whispering into my ear before he did what he did. Look, this is common. You're finding it difficult to accept that it's over. Justice has been served. But it will get easier with time. How long has it been? About nine months. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta go, I gotta take this. Well, I'm yours for the hour if you wanna call back. Thanks. This is Charlie. doctor entered the room it was bad news from the look on his face you know the one that you hope you don't see when you look to a stewardess during turbulence an expression of like oh shit something's not right you're strong you can hear it in your voice I'm trying you're not alone i can recommend some support groups if you'd like What you need to focus on now is health. Uh-uh, he's cheating on me. I know he is. That's tough. Though, I don't know who in their right mind would sleep with him. He's gotten too fat for his shirt, but won't buy you one. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> I believe so, yes. At least it was earlier when I chopped up the last teenage boy who pranked me and stuffed all the pieces inside. That's messed up, lady. What's the occasion? Divorce. After eight daunting years. Signed the papers today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I'm not. At least that's the quip they always seem to say in the movies. Did you know that something like two dozen people are literally killed by flying champagne corks each year? With weddings being the most common place it happens. That can't be a real statistic. <laughs> 
I'm just repeating what I heard. In retrospect, I wish that would have happened to my ex at our wedding. It would have saved me a lot of grief. Their noses are always buried in their phones. Get this, just the other day, my daughter was looking at a magazine. And you know what she did? She tried to pinch Zoom for a closer look. The way you zoom into a picture on your cell phone? It's ingrained in these kids. I realized then and there we are entirely too chained to electronics. Maybe I should put a limit on their technology usage. What do you think? Hello? I totally agree. Sometimes I worry the only island I'll ever see is in my kitchen. I can't remember my last vacation. Every cent I make goes towards these ungrateful kids. Sorry, it's a bad connection. I can't hear you. The serial rapist and murderer was dubbed in the press as The Gentleman, viewed by some as a rather tactless nickname inspired by a technique of luring women from their homes with the recorded sound of a crying infant, then proceeding to rape them in an effort to conceive a child of his own. The suspect identified as 36-year-old Edward Reed was arrested as a part of a criminal investigation into the attacks that authorities have attributed to a single person. A judge agreed with the jury's recommended life sentence. For years, through a score of accusations, multiple arrests, and two criminal trials, Reed has stayed one step ahead of a conviction. But finally, this long-wanted criminal is now safely behind bars. After the case's conclusion, Reed addressed the charges against him in an interview with Channel 7. Let me make something very, very clear to you. I've never drugged anybody. I've never raped anybody. And I've never forced myself on anybody. Ever. And I've certainly never killed anybody. A likely story. Following the verdict, one survivor was quoted saying, Nothing will change what I and the other victims have suffered. But today I feel justified. Relief. I see a light at the end of a tunnel. Down to the wire. You've got five minutes. Maybe it's an avoidance tactic. What are you avoiding? I see him. Like, I almost imagine that he's here. God, the other day I nearly clobbered the pool guy with the skimmer. He comes every Thursday and, I mean, I guess I just forgot. You know what you should do in these situations? What? Breathe. 
tell yourself he's in your head, and then you'll find out that it's true. The hardest part isn't the daymares or the paranoia. It's wondering if I could have done more, done something, if I just got my hand on a knife or clubbed him over the head, if I just, if I could have stopped him. And there wouldn't be other women out there to go through what I did. You can't think like that, surrendering to him the path of least resistance. It was your key to survival that night. You're brave, Charlotte. Saying I'm brave makes it sound like I had a choice. Like I chose this. But I was just thrown in and I'm floundering to stay above water. You know what I mean. And you are not floundering. You're treading water and soon you will swim. Sometimes I almost wish he would show up. Just so I know I'm not crazy. And what would you do if he did? Hey, sweetheart. Guess I missed you again. We haven't seen you in months. I know you've been through a lot, but isolation isn't healthy. And make sure you're running your car, okay? <laughs> Such a dad thing to say. Bed on the engine to just sit there. You never know when you may need it for emergencies. We love you, honey. We do love you, sweetie. We miss you. Maybe we could plan a dinner? Something simple. We could even come to you and bring everything. Just, uh, just let us know. We're always here if you need us. Hey, sweetheart. Guess I missed you again. We haven't seen you in months. I know you've been through a lot, but isolation isn't healthy. And make sure you're running your car, okay? <laughs> Such a dad thing to say. Bed on the engine to just sit there. You never know when you may need it for emergency. We love you, honey. We do love you. Come to you and bring everything. Just uh, just let us know. We're always here if you need us. Sweetheart, guess I missed you again. We haven't seen you in months. Hello? This is Charlie. Hello? Oh, I think you called before. Hello? Oh, there, I can hear you now. What are you wearing? <laughs> no, relax. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant you're on the phone. 
My guess is, it doesn't matter what you wear at home. How do you know I work from home? Don't you? See, it's like those people who do a remote video call with a button down up top. I uh, they sure as hell are wearing boxers below camera. Dress code is definitely a perk at the job. So, you didn't answer my question. What are you wearing? Pajamas. Let's just say I'm comfortable. Look, if this is what I think it is, uh, there are hotlines for that. They're expensive. I like the sound of your voice. This is a helpline, so is there anything I can help you with? You are helping. Oh. on the recent arrest of the- I don't speak to reporters. I'm not a reporter. Please, if you just give me a moment of your time- Really? At work? I have a podcast, a rather popular one, True Crime Truths. Have you heard of it? I'm giving Reed's victims a platform to speak at- This is Charlie. I'm the NDA, I transferred out of this class, but still, I run into him on campus all the time. Everyone adores him, and I just have to bite my tongue. <sighs> I guess that's why this is appealing, calling anonymously. I'm not allowed to talk about what happened, but here, what I tell you, it doesn't matter. I'm like that bartender that you can unload on and know that you'll never see or hear from again. Exactly. Well... This has been cathartic. Thank you. Happy to help. Hello, 
listeners, you're listening to True Crime Truth. As always, our episodes deal with serious and often distressing incidents. Listener discretion is advised. I'll be focusing on the crying baby rumor, which, if you've seen the news lately, you'll know is no longer considered a rumor. In early 2003, an urban legend began to circulate that a serial killer was using the taped sounds of a crying baby to lure victims to the door. Police were quick to deny that information was any more than hearsay, or perhaps a hoax. Some have suggested that it even seems idiotic for a victim to investigate a mysterious sound like this. I'd argue that if most of us had heard a baby crying on our front porch, we would immediately go to investigate it, not leave the baby crying, and call the police. All of this is to say, the crying baby lure is real. A man, Edward Reed, is now behind bars and believed to be responsible for a slew of rape, and in some cases, murder. There are many bizarre layers to these cases. Some previous victims have claimed that the gentleman, as this monster is being called, left them gifts leading up to their birth. One brave survivor says, I thought maybe they were delivered by mistake? Left them gifts leading up to their birth. Gifts? Don't you cry, Mama gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that diamond ring Who sent don't this? Fit, Mama gonna whoop your little shit. Hush, little baby, don't you everything okay? Do you hear that? What? Listen. What am I listening for? It sounds like a... A baby crying? Yes. Charlie, what's this about? I'm sorry. I didn't know who else to call, but... It's him. Charlie? The gentleman, I know it's him. You have to rock it on my front door steps today. I know it's him. Go down. Where are you? My backyard. Charlie, that sound could be a million things. It's a baby crying, or I mean, I mean a recording of one. It could be a neighbor. It's not. Or a cat. A cat? Yes. Haven't you heard the odd sounds cats make? They can sound exactly like an infant crying. Why don't you go back inside, look up a video? I'll stay on with you, okay? I think I'll, I'll make a cup of tea. I was having trouble sleeping anyway. been cat cries like a human baby see 
I guess I do feel a little bit silly now. There are explanations, but it's not the conclusions you're coming to, okay? It is not him. One glass, that's the rule, right? This is Charlie. I'm gonna hang up now. Again? That's what you did before. You took the call in a sexual direction that's abusing the service. I apologize. Maybe I'm just lonely. Could you be doing that? What? Drinking. Oh, I get it. You heard me take a sip. How do you know it's not just coffee? It's past midnight, so I doubt that. I just wonder, should you really be imbibing in your condition? My condition? Is there a baby there? Please don't call again. Calling to your services. This is Amy. Um, hi. I've never used this line before, but uh, I'm a volunteer. I've been getting repeated calls from the same person, and I was wondering, I don't know if you could identify him or tell me if someone's been asking for me at the switchboard. Actually, calls don't go through a live person anymore. It's automated. Callers can punch in the name of a specific volunteer that they'd like to speak to. Oh. Why? Is anything wrong? Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. Did the caller threaten you or anything? No, not really. He just got a bit sexual is all. Oh, yeah, they do that sometimes. Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Uh, we can report it though, but speaking from experience, the police don't really do much about harassing calls. No, it's totally fine. I was about to sign out anyway. Sorry to bother you. It's no bother at all. Have a good evening. Thanks, you too. Okay. I didn't kill myself, you mean. Sorry if I worried you before. I was just freaking out a bit. My mom, she went to bed. I just thought you said you'd be here, so figured I'd call back. You just caught me. I was just about to sign out. Oh. Oh, I can.
let you go. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so glad you called. I'm not even sure why I did. You called because you want someone to help you through the night. You called because you wanted someone to change your mind, even if it's just for one more day. I looked it up. A false positive test result happens less than 1% of the time. I figured I may as well try, though. Yeah, no, it's still possible. And if it is accurate, maybe I'll talk to someone, weigh my options, like you said. Yeah, no, that sounds like a really good idea. Everything okay? Huh? Sound distracted. Oh, sorry. If my problems are boring you. No, 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 it's just, um, it's something personal. Maybe you could try doing some talking this time? You know, before when you asked if something happened, The answer is yes. You may have seen it on the news, the gentleman they're calling him, he uh, attacked me. And he said he'd come back if I got pregnant. You're pregnant? Why didn't you say something before? He said if I got pregnant and, and I didn't keep the baby. He'd kill me. He said he'd come back. Why? He views being present at the birth as a way to, I don't know, carry on his legacy. <sighs> I tried to get over it. Saw a shrink, meditated, medicated, exercise, yoga. And I just, I still can't shake it. I can't stop thinking about that night. Do you have a support system? You know, my parents, and I was dating somebody casually before, but it wasn't going to work out. I, I kind of just pushed everyone away after. Every time I hear a baby cry, my heart, it just stops. That might be a bit challenging to deal with once yours is born. A man was arrested and everyone's trying to convince me that it's him just because he sort of fits the bill, but I know, deep down, I know it isn't him. And what if I'm right, you know? What if they locked up the wrong guy? Who's gonna help me now? I mean, it's already hard enough to arrest a rapist when you know their identity, I mean, Think about all those students accusing teachers, altar boys accusing priests, actresses accusing producers. They all know the identity of their assailant and they still can't get them behind bars. I don't have his identity. I don't know a thing. I thought I had problems. I can't stop wondering what he looks like. I can't stop wondering who he is underneath that mask and who he's going to hurt next. I think I hear my mom. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to just hang up. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. Just remember to take it one day at a time, and I'm here if you need me. Will you be there tomorrow? Yes, I have a shift at 7 a.m. sharp. Don't you ever sleep? I like to. But I can't. 7 a.m. Okay. Thanks, Charlie. We'll be okay.
don't you show yourself? Huh? I've been waiting for you all this time. If you're really there, show me.
There's no use in that. I changed the code. I've seen you input it dozens of times. But enough wrong entries will notify the security company. <laughs> Alarm activated. Input code to cancel. You've been watching me. What do you want? You know. And once I meet him or her, I'll go. Oh. And I wouldn't try running if I were you. Sometimes I almost wish it would show up. Just so I know I'm not crazy. And what would you do if you did? with all the mind games, huh? You wouldn't happen to be having contractions, would you? I don't understand. You were about to jump the wall, but you stopped. I get it. You're watching me. So why don't you just come in and face me now, motherfucker?
I'm not feeling very patient. Why don't you come in and join me for a drink? There you are. These aren't born that quickly, jackass. Guess I found that one after all. Lullabies. They're meant to soothe. We need to get your stress levels down. 
That's not good for the baby. You seem to have only hit your head, so let's hope my little one's fine. Baby girl. Don't, don't make me do that. You're roughed up enough as it is. How about I clean that up? Please don't. My head hurts. You were out for a while. It shouldn't be long now. After all, your water's already broken. sure that I was watching, but you turned back. Why? So I could stop you. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Baby. Ever since that night, I felt I wasn't alone. I felt eyes on me. And I just couldn't move it. Until now. Please. I. I. But I couldn't end this until you knew that you failed. Again, to me, this was the only option that ever made any sense. It was the only way to truly know if you were out there or not. No! I didn't see my family for months. That ultrasound on the fridge, printed it online. Every move I've made, every toy, every baby accessory, my water breaking, it was all to silly Lucas. For so long, I wondered who you were. What your face looks like under there. Ugh. And now, now I couldn't care any less.
911, what's your emergency? I need the police immediately. Charlie. Charlie, it's me, Lily. You're still there. I'm still here. 